well, it looks like I still have time to upload a conference before work, so I had to get down to it. So anyway, this is Bethesda's conference that they showed yesterday. Well, Bethesda, you did way better than EA and Microsoft, so we'll give you the letter grade at the end of the video. Anyway, we're giving you the content out of chronological order, okay? And so let's get right down to it. Uh, first off, Quake Champions. <sighs> the king of first-person shooters. <laughs> I said Doom, but Quake is the king of competitive First person shooters called Quake Champions, and it looks like it's a PC exclusive, which it should be. You know why? Because if you want the consistency of and accuracy of the game and the smoothest frame win when you're playing Quake the fastest next to Unreal Tournament, well, should I say before when Unreal Tournament came out, uh, in terms of first person shooters, yeah, you want to put it on PC first. Yeah, so thank you, Quake Champions. Coming 2017, I can't wait to buy this masterpiece. <laughs> so I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I love Quake, and I always will love Quake till I die. Okay, hands down. So it was cool that um, Larry, uh, uh, I always forget his last name, Larry uh, Kalitis or something like that. He's the one who co-developed Quake and did uh, Doom, Doom franchise and Doom 3. With John Romero. I mean, these guys are legends to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to Quake Champions. Thank you so much. And we won't get the way at QuakeCon because everybody will be, be able to get access to this game. So this is fantastic. Thank you so much. Quake Champions, smart decision. Number two, Skyrim Remaster. Okay. Now, Skyrim means that I don't care about this, but it still is huge for those who own the PlayStation 3 last year because Skyrim was absolutely pitiful. But also those who have a three who had a 360 back then, Skyrim Remaster at 60 frames per second with better graphics and texture and everything like that is coming to the PS4 and Xbox One and I think also PC. Yeah, I saw three I three platforms. So Skyrim Remaster is coming to the PC, but um, that's kind of weird. I, I don't need the remaster because we got mods. So you don't care about mods? Hey, pick it up. Suit you. But Skyrim is my uh, it's actually my second least favorite uh, Elder Scrolls game. Uh, it's still debatable, but anyway, I, Skyrim was, was to me was was subpar. Straight up. Morrowind and Oblivion destroy this game in so many ways it's not even funny. The, the reason why Skyrim is beloved is not because of its vanilla version of mechanics and combat and story and all that and lore and all that sort of stuff. No, it's, it's just all about uh, the mods. It's all people care about. Skyrim Remaster, that's huge though, nevertheless, for those who love the game. So anyway, people are looking forward to that. Number six, speaking of Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Online, a new expansion pack regarding the Dark Brotherhood and the campaign. It's huge for those who are in, in mobile fans. The game has... um. I think 7 million players. That's huge. That's way more than World of Warcraft. People are getting tired of World of Warcraft. So you got competition, uh, uh, Blizzard, but not with uh, Overwatch. You, you actually guys got 7 million players, I think, on the server, not 7 million sales. So it's different. 7 million players, but it's not 7 million slayers. But with Elder Scrolls Online, it's 7 million players. That means 7 million sales. Have to, unless they're just stealing. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty good for those who play Elder Scrolls Online. I don't play, but there's also a free-to-play version, so I, 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 don't, I don't have time to play MMOs anymore. I really don't. Um, you know, not even Guild Wars 2. You know what I'm saying? It's just sad, but there's just too many games to play, man. Anyway, next up, Fallout 4 VR. I don't care about VR. Stop! I'm never going to accept VR this gen. I'll try it out, but, you know, unless you buy it for me, I, I, I highly, I would say 90% I'm positive I don't care about VR, man. I really don't. Next up, uh, this is pretty big. Uh, Doom, a uh, Doom, the, the game that came out last year. I mean, last month. I'm sorry. Uh, is getting a demo, so I get to try it out. And I'm actually going to upload some gameplay on my channel. So I'm going to be uploading more gameplay nowadays. But I'm going to be uploading this uh, on my channel, the free Doom uh, demo. You probably seen it for yourself. But also, the first set of DLC for Doom is coming out. But if you guys didn't know, the season's pass is only for multiplayer content. It has nothing to do with single player content. And there's also no mod support. support. But I still nevertheless want to try it out. Doom I will get eventually, but I'm not buying it day one. I mean, uh, I'm not buying it anytime soon because that's unacceptable. No mod support for Doom? You guys really butcher that. Straight up. Uh, next up, uh, Fallout 4 DLC is coming. Um, like the workshops and stuff like that. That's coming PS4, Xbox One, PC. That's huge. Be able to do workshops and hell, and, and you'll be able to create elevators and put turrets and, and like construction stuff and more campaign stuff. So may, pay attention to that for those who are Fallout fans. I know Crooklyn 64 is looking forward to that. Uh, but um, 
for all fans looking forward to it. And uh, number two, uh, two more things left. Uh, Dishonored 2, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the story-wise is great. I beat Dishonored 1 uh, a couple of days ago, and I, I freaking great game. And Dishonored 2, uh, you, and I had, uh, it's, it was shown in the, in the, in the trailer, so I, I know you don't want any spoilers, but I'm here to put it out anyway. But you're playing as Corvo's daughter. And that's freaking awesome. And uh, Coral was also in the game, so they're able to be co-op between both of the groups. So it's freaking fantastic and that's smart from Bethesda. I mean, from uh, Arcane Studios, who's developing Dishonored 2. That's huge. So thank you so much, Dishonored 2. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. But the the, the, en the engine looks like it's outdated. And graphically, it's, it's, it's unacceptable. It really is. But uh, Dishonored 2 is huge. Playing as her daughter, you know what I'm saying, and the throne and basically remnants of places from the first Dishonored is going to be pretty cool. So, um, I forgot where the location is. They, they mentioned in the video, but uh, I think we're going to be going between Dunwall and another place. I forgot, but it's cool. And lastly, this one is the final nail account for which I got to rain a little bit. Prey. Now, now I, I don't know if you guys know, but Prey was a great game on the that was only released for 360 and PC back in 2005, 2006. Always, I think it was 2005 first, and then 2006 when the 360 came out. Or no, 2005 was the same year it came out. But uh, I think uh, Prey came out 2006 for 360. Anyway, as a port, that game was so unique, so interesting. It was a asymmetrical game. Uh, it's been constantly that Prey 2 uh, was going to be the case, but it's not a sequel. It's a reboot, and this, to me, is garbage because I love the first Prey. Playing as Tommy, following those aliens, it was so unique in every conceivable way. I got a Quake vibe when playing that game. I really did. But this is a reboot. I was like, come on. You guys can't make a sequel? And force people and make a prey remaster. I mean, oh my gosh. Which to me, folks, I don't know if I want to support. I don't. I'm 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 debating whether I want to support it or not. It's unacceptable. 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 And it's got me so frustrated. <sighs> prey. Oh my gosh. But you're not you're not gonna get deducted for showing that game, uh, um, Bethesda. You know what I'm saying? It's just that it's just the fact that it's a reboot is unacceptable. That means I'm I'm so tired of this gen of reboots. It's nothing but re 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 this remaster, reduxes, reboots, remakes. I mean, just read this and read that. But reboots are just getting ridiculous now. Every game is getting rebooted. You know what I'm saying? It's pathetic. Doom, Doom, uh, Doom Tomb Raider. Enough of these reboots, man. Stop. Could you imagine they reboot God of War at Sony's conference? Just stop with the reboots. Anyway, uh, Bethesda's conference. That's pretty much covers everything at their conference. Uh, Bethesda the Oh, oh, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Um, very unique stuff. Uh, I would say add this list. Uh, one, two. Only two things interest me. So as a result, Bethesda's conference, you get a C plus. Yeah. So far, nobody's gonna be. And all we have is Ubisoft next, and I, I'm gonna do Ubisoft uh win uh for tomorrow. Probably not today because I gotta watch Sony's conference when I get back, and I'm not staying up all night. So uh, Sony's, uh, as Ubisoft's, and uh, Nintendo's Treehouse event. So three more conferences to review. But Bethesda, you get a C plus, straight up. You did okay. So anyway, goes. That's it. I'm out of here. I can't do no more videos. Uh, but you guys continue to keep watching it. Okay. Peace out. <laughs>